G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have Super Mario from Mario Brothers. I've had many requests for Mario, but Lisa Camarelli sent in this photo of her son Kieran and her boys requested Mario. So if you want to request a cake, pop over to the Facebook page. You can find us on there, Cakes by Chopper. You're going to start off by cutting out the shape of Mario. This printout will be available soon on the Cakes by Chopper Facebook page. Make sure you keep your knife vertical so you get nice smooth edges. Cut away the excess. Then using this cake cutter, <laughs> separator, I'm, I'm not even sure what to call it. You're going to split it, fill it with a buttercream. I've added a jam to this, which is also jelly. We've had this confusion before. And it just gives the buttercream a strawberry flavor and it's really yummy. So I suggest you try it. Go through, give it a dirty ice, make sure it's coated. You don't have to be too careful with it because it's, this is just to help stick the fondant to the cake. Once that's done, pop it in the fridge and let it set. Then I rolled out some flesh colored fondant and you're going to cut out the entire shape of Mario's head as a base. Once you've got that cut out neatly, how much attention you pay to cutting this out depends on how much cleanup work you have to do afterwards. But I just pop it onto some baking paper, sit it aside and let that harden. Now you're going to cut out Mario's eyes, moustache, nose, ear and hair. And these are what you're going to cut out your fondant with. I've started off with his nose, here is his ear, then this is his hair. You're going to paint that with the airbrush. If you, want to, if you don't want to paint it or you don't have an airbrush, you can just use the food Daryl to turn the fondant darker. All of these pieces can be made individually, so you don't have to use the airbrush. Just make sure you get them to the right color for Mario. Once you have them all cut out, you can place them on separate pieces of parchment paper or baking paper, and this will help with the coloring process. Now for his face, I just added a little bit of shadow, um, very lightly. This, If you do this free formation pattern, think of it as three bubbles. Um, that just helps his face and you're going to layer on top of it, so don't worry too much about that. Colouring the moustache and the hair piece dark brown and the hat red. If you don't have an airbrush, once again you can just use the coloured fondant, just get the fondant to the right colour you like it and work with it from there. Or you can alternatively use a watered down food colour with a paintbrush, but you won't get as clean a result with that. Adding in some shadows, just I used a, a light brown to go over the colors, you can see here, and then I added some shading to his nose and his ears. Now with some gel food dye, I've painted in the detail of his eyes. I started with the light blue, and then you put the black circle in the middle, leaving the two dots for the reflections. And I kept aside a little bit of fondant to add in a small dot in the blacks of his eyes. Then you're going to line your border of the cake. You can do this any which way you like, but I like this stripe pattern up the side and the border around the edge, because when I place it on top it looks like it's already finished and it leaves Mario's head nice and clear. Placing the stencil on top of the face to get the dimensions of his eyes, nose, ears and hair, this helps. can be a little bit tricky to take it off, but if you want to cut it in sections, feel free. Now just placing it all on step by step, going with each layer of what you need. And you can see here, it have the brim of his hat. I really like the effect it's got with the dark and the light at the top. Now with a bit more of gel food dye, go and paint the semicircle of his nose. And I put in the detail of his chin. You can border the whole part of Mario if you like. I didn't feel it was necessary. I liked how this looked. Just add in his eyebrows. Here you can see I'm working on his chin. It just I think it sits nicely by itself. Um, then I just finished off with the trim of the cake. And then we have the Mario cake. Thanks again for watching guys. Tune in every Friday for a new video. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. See you next Friday.